last week mo na mu video bi a baba wa bi apost to our church o community e wo eye salon na o te wa wo ye ni ti no na e ma ni din komo bi na no mo de eye e we kasa na ni din komo no e ma ono kwa na ebi e fa no ho kakra na enye asem ketoa ni nyina ni se o te wa wo ye ni ti no na e ma na o mu eye tire no adwini mo no mu ni se sister yi en te kasa o mu ka no asinti na akwa se o mu ka kasa bi a tu ono o hu ni se eye atem de de mo ono ana se o mu kasa e de atia no nti o tena ase din ye ni ti na ko dru ba bi enti emi se wo wi eye ni mu ho no ana obusa ma ni se masa na e de na na mo ka no ani wu ma no oba ye adwuma no mu ji ni sika bi fe ni nsam a mo ka mo kuro mu kasa ye e we kasa ni na mu ni se me nti ene se e kwadane asem a enya asem keto ma lady na ba bon ting a ba be chichi ma pa che wo se sister ni mfa nche ni ade sister ni sister na no nko fo no enu o mu ho go nsam o mu ka no en chire se e wo mu ye obi a o ma nu o mu ho na according to a year late dinner on the video e ba bon ting o post ye o post ye na sister ye o she e ye se green o se blue ye o da e ye minsa bonku mu su e chire se o fre sister na o te akunye ni mu na o ye ni ti no e ka chen sen ka video no kwa won delete no mu ntwa so sister e sister na won te as o dia kwa koto ho sen ko fo hwe e juma ye bi o gana e salon salon ma hodo ya no man fo ka o mu tai ka salon konkonsa o ho salon konkonsa o ho e me se wo nya ho evidence e chire se konkonsa o ho yi pa it is the babon tin be kasa ya wo chire se woni ma me ya kasa ko ntwa so wo e na ma me na sa babon tin bi e me se ntia se nya juma ye di kan ko e fu video no at the crop of tea see a bra who could be more ever saloon. Well, can I ask you guys some question? Can I ask you a question? Why did you find that woman the amount of money you charged her? No, no, not me. The woman who came to do um, the pony. Why did you charge her the amount you charged her? You don't know. The lady who came to do the ponytail over there, why did you charge her the amount you charge her? I don't know how much you charge, but will you be surprised if I tell you I am anywhere? So everything, everything you said, you didn't say anything bad. You remember when you dragged my front hair? When you dragged my hair here? You said sorry, right? What did she say? Don't lie. What did she say? She said, "A dog boy alika na ma ne vituki ma ne ohe anukawa wo." That was what she said, right? You braided my hair, and you decide to pull the baby hair here, my front hair. It's not nice. It's it's pitting me, and I'm like, don't do it. You said sorry, and then she said, "A dog boy alika na ma ne ne vituki ma anukawa wo." I don't have any issue with you for that. And then she goes on, as she was braiding the hair, she went on saying, <laughs> it's even funny. She went ahead to say, no, what can I be? Like, you see, I speak your kind of airway, not her kind of airway. Her kind of airway is different from your kind of airway. And your kind of airway is the airway I speak, to be sincere. I, I, I want to get it the very way she said it, the same way she said it. She's like, basically she's trying to say that my big head, okay, that was what, no, no, don't say hey, you know what you said, so don't say hey. I, do you know I don't have any issues with you? The, the other day I came here, I tipped you right. Did I give you money or I didn't give you money? I did give you money. When I came to there and I went to buy stuff, did I buy some for you? I didn't buy some for you. You didn't ask for it. I'm, I'm not saying you asked me for it. You didn't ask for it. But when I went to buy something for myself, I bought some for you, right? You know why I bought for you? Not because I have the money to give out like that. And not because I feel I am entitled to. But because I know you are the one braiding my hair and you are standing on your feet and you are braiding my hair. So it won't be nice. So it won't be nice if I eat and you are like you haven't eaten and you are standing on your feet and you are braiding my hair you get me that was the reason why when i got whatever i got i got some for you in my mind i knew what i was going to do after you braid my hair but i was sitting here and everything you said in a way i understood everything to an extent that you had to overcharge someone and you were saying she came to ask you if the amount she charged was enough 
and then you were saying, I don't know, but from what she said, she placed something on the money. That wasn't the money she was supposed to take. And then you told her, and then you told her, and then you were telling her that, no, relax, relax, relax. And then you were telling her that, nobody dina mieta efunoye. The person is pregnant, and that ne eho gas to bolesti ne ne ma ofwa bolesti. The the person is going to get miscarriage, right? So no, no. Basically, what are you trying to say? No, 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 no. The person who is not here. See, I know what I heard. And no, no, no. I said I know what I heard. I know what you guys said. You guys were referring to this woman over here. She came to ask, did she ask you the amount she should charge that woman or she didn't? She asked. Okay, so basically that's all. I, I don't really care about the money you took. If you want to extort money from your customers, yeah, I don't care. Know. But yeah. why should the customer come and do her hair? Why should the customer come here? And you guys decide to, to say shit about the person. When I stood up, I wanted to use the washroom. I stood up to go use the washroom and I am a lady like you guys. But when I came here, the way you guys were reacting, so I was quiet. I was cool all along. Okay, I didn't want to say anything. Or I didn't want to offend anyone with my actions or what I say. Okay, so I'm menstruating actually. I, I came and I was like, when she's done with this side, I want to go and then use the washroom, right? She finished with that side because I didn't want to distract her. She finished with that side and I stood up. For me to be sure of no things, I was like this. Right. What did she say? Ask her what she said. Megato, oh. So there's no language you insult me in. Yes, I know, I know. I heard everything you said. I heard everything you said. And see, she she insult no, I say whether she insulted me or she didn't insult me. And you guys basically my the hair and the my head and the head. I didn't create it myself, did I? If you look at my legs, you will see I'm hairy, right? Am I hairy or I'm not? Okay, so how do you expect this kind of hair to be on my body and not that same amount of hair on my head? On my head? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't even tell you. So a customer comes to your shop and a customer has a lot of hair on the head. So you guys would say, even things are not the things about the person. Isn't it nice? Isn't it nice? Are you sure if your madam is here about this, you guys will be okay? Are you sure you guys will be okay? Like I'm so disappointed in you because you are you are you are like my mom, okay? But I am so disappointed in you because what can't you do on an ma? Alone is do. No, did you insult my head or you didn't insult my head? I said that you don't care. I'm not. You don't care. No, no, no. Don't lie. No. I'm an away. And I understood everything. And you see, if, even if you are saying I am lying, even if you are saying I am lying, I have videos of everything. Just that I didn't get the exact point where you guys were saying whatever you said. But there's no way I will leave my house from 12, so I think it's 6 or 7 to 8, just to come and lie. It doesn't make sense. I won't leave my house to come to get a service done and I will lie. And when I was doing the video here right now, this lady, this lady was like, Like, what has he, what, like, why? Why? No, did you say it? Oh, did you say it? I have it on record. You forgot that she was recording whilst you were saying it. She was recording. She didn't end the video whilst you said it. It will either be in my video or her video, but I didn't know which part. Am I, am I lying or I'm not lying? Okay. Okay. And then, and then, I sat again, I sat again, and then you said the same thing again. You see, when I was standing and she was doing the video, and she was doing the video and you said that, I was so pissed. I wanted to say, ah, but why should you always be doing that? Is it nice? Our day, many Latin YOLO, many Latin you. You shouldn't use any language to insult someone. Besides, you don't know the person. You don't know who I am. You don't know, but you decide to say ill things about me. Yet I haven't done anything to you. Oh, can I tell him because I haven't offended you in any way. Yet you you are like eh, the amount of hair on my head, and she has braided my front hair. She has braided my front hair, and she's pulling it out. If someone should braid your hair and pull it out, how will you feel? How will you feel? You wouldn't 
feel good. And then you guys are braiding my hair and you are nagging and you are complaining. If you know you can't braid my hair and I can't, tell me, my name is Mimbo, it's in Okofie. Or we can't do it. But you tell me you can do the hair. No, but with the things you were saying, it wasn't nice. That it, you see, I knew if I should talk, you guys would deny everything. That was why I was mute until you, until you finished everything. I was really boiling up. I won't lie. I was really boiling. It got to a point. I was up, like I was checking my palm like this. I was checking my palm because when I get furious, okay, I sweat in my palms. Like I was really sweating. Oh, it's so annoying. Why? The, the, the service you are rendering, I'm going to pay for it. I'll definitely pay for the service. So why should you insult me? So let's say if I didn't understand the language you guys were speaking, you would insult me and when I'm done, you'd be like, Madam, who are you so? Your hair is nice. That was the same thing you did to the other lady over there. It's not nice. It's not nice. I decided to keep mute. When I go home, I'll do my voiceover and do every video I want to do and post. But I'm like, no. You know, people are in a way that if something should happen and you leave the scene and you say whatever you want to say, they're not going to believe you. They are going to be like, you probably want to tarnish the person's image. The person has suffered to build like whatever he or she has built and you want to bring the person down. But my, like, why should I leave my house, come to your, your salon and then you treat me well and I'm going to push you out there. I won't do that. I'm human. And I also have plans of opening a shop. So my question is, if I should open a shop, go for workers put workers there and i am home or i am wherever i am thinking i have people in my shop who are working for me yeah and then this is what the people do would you be happy imagine it's you imagine you are your madam and your madam is you yeah are you going to be happy the way you guys are handling this place it's not nice it's not nice I'm really, really disappointed in you. When I leave you, I'm not coming here again. I know my money is not going to do anything. Like, me not coming here is not going to affect you in any way. But it's bad. It's bad. Sometimes you go to the salon and they'll fix your hair. And then they'll be there. You guys will forget that there's a mirror. There's a big mirror in front. And you guys will be doing some... What is all that? Sorry, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I remember myself. He, I confronted you guys, sir. Me, do, me, do. Like autocrat thing because you're my mom's age. Like you are basically my mom. But what you did, no. Okay, because I didn't tell you the, the length I wanted, right? Okay, so I had to go and buy some. You called your madam and your madam said the hair is, the two pack is going to be 100 cities, right? It doesn't make sense to me. You know why it doesn't make sense to me? Because when I was coming, I bought hair and I brought it myself. So I know how much it costs. Supposing I didn't buy it and then you told me it was 100 cities. I'd have paid for it because I don't know how much it costs. But when I bought it and I came and you are telling me the amount, it doesn't make sense to me. So I was like, I'll go out and buy it myself. And I went out to buy the hair. You are supposed to manage that hair. And you need five in Egumi Tiso. It's heavy. And you need five in Egumi Tiso. I know now in New York Tiso. Yes. But it's heavy. I, like, how long can I carry this? My brain. Me do, baby. I'll my brain. That's why I'm like, you should hold the hair. Me do, baby. But my brain, me tell me. Then I go buy the extra two and come. You guys are breathing and you're like, it's in the end soon, and the end soon, and then it's in the end it's in the end soon, and then it's in Do you think, see, growing up, eh, I had it severally, and I had it severally, say me too soon, and I, like, you know, so I'm used to it, and I'm a December born, so I know me too soon, it's normal, you get me, but, and you know, I bought five, like, five packs of hair, you're supposed to manage it. And then you know, son, no problem, and you know, son, I heard you guys saying, and I, um, she was saying, I have to go and buy more. And then you said, no, 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 go, no. I may have 90 gear. No, 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 go. You know, my Ella is not so good, so I don't like to speak away. And you know one nice thing? I don't look like an Ella. So I, I get this over and over again, and that's why I'm getting pissed. It happens so many times. People think I'm not an Ella, and they use that same language to insult me. Oka Ghana Meti, Oka Ella Meti, Oka Chia Meti, Oka Brofa Medibisha. And then you tell her, I am not going to agree. Because you know. When you send me in the call to say you told her I'm not going. I was just quiet waiting for you guys to say Like how that bested out. Like I like how best out. But well, you guys didn't say anything. And then I, I got to know that you know the type of person I am, even though I haven't spoken. So I was cool. And then you were telling her, eh, uh, Nipa, eh. Uh, 
Ame ya eva, obe ne fle, obe da wa hundred cities kwa ebe yi maa fle wa. He ye dogo yi gire ba fle da. Ozu ba ga fle bubwa. I'm not saying you prized, but should you be saying those things? So if you knew you could like you could hit your chest and say it, why didn't you say it in a language you knew I would understand? I'm sorry. Okay. The video went on no post to our one thing can eh? And son a ladies now no more saloon hono. A bab one thing a barbe church or most side of the story mu ewo a yes who and the media no so you could tell almost so or me too gang. Maybe be a bit German young couple. But Obia nim se salum won mu ma panicho if you call me madam nim me a my friend won the phone so if you call enne my friend won me phone so one far but obi won miss call flash me back ma mpeke me a na miss a friend o na me bi sane se ah sister who catch me say won post video no wa gi me eh beg no atum but all of a sudden you posted the video e na o cut se call no it's a bunny pa be na my yo dem pa na me a yo I walk to me up to see video. I can some and some men yet and family who then I media you. I should say, and I'm a poor chop and I want fine chemi po and I would ya what say me what what up to see video no I say me did be bracer but if you see the way you be beer, Juni who ye who ye be beer, and then you are up to see me video. You do a yo fair who say we are you benny, Miss Mia Benny, Mimi ya benny, Mimi ya one and me, me, me ya one and me, so nima. Your friend me get to Jokoto. Mimi ya wane ni. My new bonny beer because my yard no ma poucho. Who's what jet to? So she has an own gym to my back and say, My sister mean gym to. Who's who ya beni? And I mean my come once and what? And I woo my poucho you. I didn't think I was a you are been for a young po. And I was who ya beni up a posy video. And to who's who ye? Who's who ye up a posy video? Who's who ye? Mimi de be beer my young couple. But yeah, but this time we are we are now we are jia we are a year we turn on. One day one day we be such a shame if I'm video of a two. Now we be such a shame. Now pay me chance. We are me. My culture. We need to be two jewi. I need to post post two video now. Cause I'm bad one. Tibi no wasabi mo mo reply. Question you be saying is we see video in one some any day we see ya. We need to say any questions no no. Say in confirm no be sa. And I say, be a content to be no more creative. Go gather the baby to be seen. Wait me, I didn't try by inquiry reply that. Well, the abroad lax hair, lax hair salon, lax hair salon. You are doing something you shouldn't really do. I really didn't want to have this banter. I don't want to have a banter with you. But stop lying to the general public. Stop lying. You came to post a, uh, an apology letter, and in the letter, you are stating emphatically that you called me to apologize. Sincerely speaking, when the thing happened and tempers were high and everybody, everyone was so hot, way at the hot, this woman was like, oh, and they were, you know, even with the way they were reacting in the video, they were reluctantly saying, sorry, sorry. So me, I just left. I was like, I was like, you said the okay, the kind of okay I said in the video. That was the kind of okay I said and then I left. They were like, Nagavalo, and they were trying to pick a convo. I wasn't interested and I left. I came to braid my hair on, on on a Thursday. Okay. When I was leaving, the madam asked me to drop my number, which I did. I left my number behind. Okay. Even before leaving the number, the lady, the old woman in the video, the circulating video, said she has my number. And I said, no. Give me a pen and paper. Let me write the number. The madam probably has a reason for saying she wants my number. So, give me a pen and paper. Let me drop my number and leave. And I left. I go home as a business owner. What are you supposed to do? I was like, just um, check. Maybe within one hour or two, this client should get home. Let me call her and then let's talk about this. No call came. There was no call. That whole evening, there was no call. The next day, I was expecting an unknown number to call me, which is from last hair to say whatever they have to say to me. No call came. I didn't see anything. Okay. That that there's the third day okay as in the third day which was um saturday nothing like that came i'm like is this business owner really serious are you really serious this thing happened and it's been three days now as in that evening the next day and then the next day again and you've not called to say anything you've not called really do you really are, are you for real you've not called okay so that evening, the evening of the Saturday, that Saturday evening, I was like, no, I'm not going to let this slide. 
I will post their video because this woman is not serious. She is just like her workers. That was what I said to myself. So around 8 o'clock, I posted the video. You are saying you called me to apologize. I went to work and when I came back, that's, I went to work Saturday. So when I came back Sunday morning, this woman called me. And listen to the call. Guys, I want you to listen and judge. Okay, listen and tell me if this is an apology. I got home from work early in the morning and she called. Hey, sister. Into a bia me ma me yari a me ma me nye fra me ba be ma desi kanya wani niya ba me nam hospital a me uko ba me share se mi business be ye juma na unam social media essay me juma ne sister niya wa wu ye ye ya ma o sister niya wu ye ye ya ma o you are calling me to blackmail me emotionally emotional blackmail it doesn't work here niye juma wa ha tiniya wu ye 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 I was quiet ask her I was quiet I didn't say anything I didn't utter a word. Then she went on. It's sister, we are sure, pan, we are sure, 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 we are you for real? Like, are you really asking me this question? That I am I really sure that your 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 workers did that thing to me? Like, are you really asking me that question? Should you? So right now, basically, you are believing your workers. To like, you are believing what you, what your workers are saying, and you are doubting the clients, right? And then she was like, no, no, no. She didn't have my number. Blah blah blah. Give the phone to him to open it for me. Pass here and give the phone for him to open it for me. She didn't have my number. And I was like, Madam, when I was leaving, you asked me to drop my number. And I did. And she was like, no. Initially, she said she didn't have my number, but she took my number from the fair old woman. That was the old woman. And I was like, but Madam, when I was leaving, you asked me to, to drop my number. So what's about that? And then she was like, ah, okay. Please, is that an apology? Guys, no, just, just be sincere. Is that an apology? That is not an apology to me. So, Kim Promise had, has a program at Garage, so I had to go to work and go and do everything I have to do to, to, to do setup and stuff. So I went to Garage, and then this lady called me there again. Even before then, we were having some convos and things on um, WhatsApp, because she texted me, and we were having some text on WhatsApp. And I was even sending this woman messages that people sent to me about the workers, the people she was working with. I sent to you, if I was a bad person, would I? No. I sent you those things, and, and I was telling you that, madam, from what I am seeing in my comment section, Charlie, it is so serious, and they are extorting people from your, um, I said they are extorting people from, they are extorting money from your clients because from what people are saying in the comments, they one one lady said she called you to ask you for the price of corn roll, stitch corn roll, and you said it's one fifty just for her to come to the salon, and your girl said it is two fifty. They called you again, and you confirmed it was one fifty. She paid that money and she left. So what if that, that hadn't happened? right? Okay. I just want to ask if what she did was an apology. She said she, she called and she apologized. Okay. Let's let's move to the next point. She called me a garage. And I was like, yo, woman, please, I'm 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 busy, I'm at work, I'll call you later. And I ended the call. Then she called me again. I ended I then she called me again and I ended the call again and then she called. And I'm like, let me just give this woman a listening ear. Let me listen to whatever she has to say. Into sister. I, you know, initially she was like, me, 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 courage. I didn't get the courage to watch the video you posted. Though. As a business owner, you didn't get the courage to watch the video I posted. Yet you are here trying to side with, not even trying to, you are here siding with your workers. Wow. Wow, you are a very good business owner. CEO, why are they she didn't even have the courage to watch the video, but say, 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 and she was talking. And then I was still listening. She was like, yeah, maybe, yeah, you know, do I know that what I did, if, if someone is supposed to curse right now, if someone is supposed to curse right now, do I know that a baby, do I know that I would die? Meaning, says, so baby, you have to say, I'm Madam, curse. I was like, my people were there. I was like, Madam, curse, curse. You want to curse, right? Your workers have done this to me. I had this, this bad encounter with your workers. And you are here telling me, say, if someone is supposed to kiss, 
if someone is to curse, I will die. And I said, Madam, Bodriano, Adriano, be a boy, one of the workers, Ningan, who be a woman one. Like, what is that? And you are out here telling the public that you have apologized. If you have apologized, as you are saying that you have, why have you blocked me? Obi, I will say, why apologize it to me? You know, me that the apology is supposed to come to me. You have blocked me. You blocked me. I can't see you. Yet you are saying you have apologized. Where did you apologize to me? Is it the calling you did? You called to question me. You called to emotionally blackmail me. You didn't call to apologize to me. Am I not human? Me, me, nipa. You are thinking about your shop. You are not thinking about my feelings. If not for the fact that I checked with my boyfriend's phone, how will I even know that you've posted? And I was live, and people were telling me that you've posted an apology letter, and you are saying this, 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 you are saying this, this, that. When, when did you apologize to me? Come out and make it clear that you have, a, if you said you have apologized to me, if you are saying that you've apologized to me, where? Where did you apologize? Because I want to understand. This is not, I'm recording with my phone. I can't even assess her with my phone because she has blocked me. You are a business owner. Something has happened. You have their hats. You've, you've locked your comment section. Hey, in their business, you're running the same. You've locked your comment section. You think that is the best you can do to prevent people from really. You don't want to listen to your customers again. You don't want to listen to them. And you are saying you, you apologize. Where, where and when did you apologize? You calling me. You calling. So emotionally blackmail me is what you call an apology. Your, cast, your, your, your workers have done me bad. They've done me dirty. I, I'm trying to let you know. I was even telling you that the best thing I think you should do is to get a price tag, a price list for your shop. What did you tell me? I have all the, com I have all the convo. If you dare me, I will post it. What is it? What, why can't you just be truthful for once? Huh? Why can't you be truthful for once? Your people have done... See, this is, this is to show that you and your workers are the same. Like, you and... They are actually learning from you. This is to show that your workers are learning from you. And this is an evidence that this is how this was how you were when you were also a worker. Why? You've taken my money, you've treated me bad. I've come out to speak, and you are you are you are trying to make it look like I am a bad person for speaking out. What is this? This thing must stop. Oh. It must stop. You can't tell me that where did you apologize to me? Where did you apologize? That you you said you apologized to me and I gracefully accepted me gracefully accepted you were asking me to take the video down and i was telling you that madam baby a video need do not even if i take it down and yeah juma and if i am to do another video for you you go be a, you will pay and then you're like okay i'll call you back now blah 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 now you are here telling people that you apologized you you apologized you you are so full of yourself just like your workers you people are so full of yourself so so full of yourself wait for me